Supply menus or radial menus are a great way to increase your workflow and speed. If you have a Wacom tablet, you're probably already using radial menus. But if you're like me and you have a Yuyon tablet, Pi menus are not in the menu. So I created a little plugin called Mad Pony Pi Menu. In this first version, you have pretty basic functionality. From Pi A menu up until Pi D menu, you have eight way Pi menus. And from Pi E, to Pi H, you have four way Pi menus. In this first version, I added a preset to Pi E menu. It has four brushes standard, damn standard, pinch, and move. They work with cursor movements, so the way to test them before you use them is by pressing this Pi button. This is the one that you're gonna assign a key to. If I press it and move up, you see that standard is the selected brush, right, damn standard, left, pinch and bottom move. On my system I already created an 8-way Pi menu. And as you can see I assigned a hotkey Control 5 to trigger it. So when I press Control 5 and move up I get my clay build up and the different directions you can see I get the different brushes that are assigned to the different sets. The settings tab will allow you to change the pixel distance. So if I have a high pixel distance I'll have to make a bigger movement. So if I have a really short pixel distance, my movement need, doesn't need to be too big. Motion speed is the time it takes to register a movement in seconds. So if I have a one second movement, the plugin will wait for a second for my movement and then register it. I like to have this pretty low. You can turn off the feedback text by unpressing this button. Now when I press my key, nothing happens. But my brush still gets selected. The feedback speed is how long the feedback text stays in, in the screen. So if I make a one second feedback speed, it stays there for one second. I like to keep this pretty low. All these settings are automatically saved for the next time you open up ZBrush. You can reset the settings by pressing this button. If I just trigger my PIA by clicking or using my hotkey, it will default to the first set. To install, simply open up the provided folder and drag the Z Startup folder into wherever you have your Z Startups folder. It's usually in C Program Files Pixelogic ZBrush 2019. Simply drag and drop and say yes. This will add a new folder to your ZPlug64 folder and the plugin. It will also add another folder to your macros folder called Pi Menus. I have quite a few already set up, but you have four different macros in here. The ones that I show you using Pi E. After installed, when you open up ZBrush, if you go to your macros, you'll have a new folder called Pi Menus. Any new macro you like to add to your Pi Menus, you should save them in here. You can see I already have some macro setup to use with my Pi menus and they're the brushes that I have here. Something I always wanted is to have an easier and faster access to my Z Modeler brushes. By brushes I mean that you can save different Z Modeler brushes. If I select my Z Modeler brush and I press spacebar I can change different settings and then save it as a new brush. The way to do this is going back to brush, press clone, we'll clone the Z brush and you come back, change some settings and press save as. Keep in mind the modifiers will not be saved, only the targets and the actions. So I already created a few Z Modeler brushes that I saved. I have bevel, bridge, close, and I like to use a Pi menu to quickly select between these brushes. If you have nothing set up in your Pi menu and you just use it, it will only give you the positions that are available. To set up a new position, you need to first record the macro or use some of the macros you already have in your Pi menus. So I'm going to create a new macro from one, for one of these brushes. New macro, say no, choose the brush I like, see modeler for this one, press end macro, and save this inside the Pi menus. The name you use for the macro here is the name that you're going to have to set up in the Pi menu. Now that I have a new macro called Z modeler, I can place this macro in my set. To assign a macro, all you need to do is press one of these set buttons and type the name of your macro. I copied the macro name when I created it. So if I can press Ctrl V to paste, press Enter. Now Z Modeler is assigned to that set. 
the name ZModeler will only show up next time you restart ZBrush. Now if I select another brush, and if I click and move my cursor, it will select that ZModeler brush. I already assigned this to Control 2, so I can do this anywhere in the canvas. I'll repeat the process for all the other brushes that I've saved. Now that I've finished setting up my pie menu, all the new assignments are down here, grayed out. Next time I open ZBrush, these grayed out buttons will disappear and show up in the right positions. I can already test my pie menu and see if it's working. After a few minutes of using your new pie menu, you get so used to it that it will just come out automatically. This has been a really helpful tool to speed up my workflow. After restarting ZBrush, everything will be in the right place. You can keep this menu open as you're getting used to your new pie menu. Once you get used to your pie menu, you can also turn off your feedback text and that will improve the speed. I use brushes for this video but you can use anything really and when you record the macro you can use more than one action. You can have for example multiple operations. When you press record macro you can select one or two buttons, anything in your UI, save that macro and assign it to a pie menu and trigger that macro every time you use that pie. I'm already working on uh, version 1.1 and future versions will have some more features. One of the things I want to add is a pie menu that will give you the control to use sliders. For example, a four-way pie menu, you would use a slider up and down to change the size of your brush, left and right to change the focus, for example. I hope you enjoyed this tool, it's free, you can download it right now in my Gumroad, I'll leave the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press the bell symbol for new updates and support me on Gumroad or Patreon. I'll see you on the next video.